Hi everyone, welcome to the Little Mind Catchers channel. My name is Gabby. And my name is Nadia. And today we're going to be doing a first day of school video. Yay! Yay! Okay. So, yeah. This is first day of school. This is actually Nadia's first lesson and it is in language arts. This is kindergarten. So we're just going to show you little bits and pieces of what to expect. Okay, go ahead and press the lion video. This is like an orientation video for her. He is so cute. Mm -hmm. Press the button. Hi there. I'm Lion. I was just reading a book. I've read a lot of books, but there are still so many more I would like to read. I guess I like reading so much because I like the sounds that words make. Listen to this one picture puzzle piece. That's from a Shel Silverstein poem called Picture Puzzle Piece. The poem has lots of great P sounds in it. I like it when sounds repeat, so I like reading poetry because a lot of poetry rhymes. Do you know what rhyme means? That's when the same sound is repeated in different words. Listen to this. How now, brown cow? The ow sound is repeated over the different words. I love sharing new words and new experiences with my friends, Gator, Zebra, Monkey, Ladybug, and Hippo. I'm glad that you and I will get to share a lot of words and sounds together too. Okay guys, so that was just her first video telling her what to expect. Rhyming words are so important for the kindergartners because that helps them to remember, that helps them to learn to read because you're just changing that first letter usually. Okay, so uh, we're going to go on. Cooperating. Your turn, Chris. Okay. That's right. Cooperate Eight. means to work One, together. Two, three. We cooperate with people every day, at school, at home, and with friends. We cooperate with many people in the communities where we live, such as in our neighborhoods. We even cooperate when we are working with machines, or just having fun with our friends. How do children get to school? Most of the time, I walk to school with my mom. Sometimes I take the bus with my friends. My grandma drives me. There are many ways to get to school and each of them takes working together or cooperating with other people, such as family members, friends, crossing guards, and bus drivers. Let's watch Jed go to school. First, Jed's grandma walks him to the bus stop. Second, he lines up to get on the bus. Third, he sits with his best friend, Timothy. Fourth, the driver safely takes them to school. Fifth, he and his classmates get off of the bus. And sixth, his teacher greets him at the school. For Jed, getting to school involves a lot of cooperation. This week, you'll learn how children get to school. How do you get to school? All right, guys, these are Nadia's first sight words. The word what? I. I. Am. Am. Very good. I and am. Those are two different words. I and am. And I, how can we use that in a sentence? I. I. Am. Am. Hungry. Hungry. I am hungry. And what else can you say with I and am? I am great. I am great. Very good. What else can you say with I am? I am going to school. Very good. I am going to school. Excellent job using those in a sentence, in a complete sentence at that. Very good. 
All right, with Nadia, we are back with a story. And the name of this story is Who Am I? Who am I? And there, you know, our sight words were I and am. So now they're teaching her how to use those in sentences. I am an. I am an. I am. I am. An. And that's Anne right there. See, her name is on her back. That's Anne. Is she a girl or a boy? She's a girl. Okay, let's keep going. It says, I am Ben. I am Ben. And Ben is a boy. See him with his shirt? Yes. It says Ben. Ben. So you say it. I am Ben. Very good. And this one says, I, I am Cam. That's his name. He's like a Cam. Cam. Like camera. His name is Cam, okay? Cam. I am Cam. Very good. I am Cam. I am Cam. Good job. I am Doc. I am Dot. Very good. You pointed at Dot. She's wearing her shirt that says Dot. Very good. Yeah, she's, I'm going to like her. Yes. I am Ed. Ed. I, I am Ed. Ed. Very good. And that's Ed with his shirt on right there. Now you try to read this one. What does that say? I am Emma. 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 Who is Emma? You don't say it this time. I am Emma. Very good. Oh, you're an awesome reader. High five. All right. And which one of those kids is Emma? I I Emma. No, Gabby, Nadia has the hiccups, guys, so <laughs> excuse her. Point to Emma. Who has on the Emma shirt? Emma. Who has on the word Emma? Thank you, Promise. Very good. Emma. That's Emma. Emma! I am um. Dad. I am dad. I am dad. I still have the heck up. Who do you, I'm sorry about that. Who do you think is dad? Look at all the people in the picture. Who do you think is dad? Thank you, promise. I am dad. Very Why good. Why do you call them dad? Because he's somebody's dad. He's one of the kids' dad. Okay, so awesome. You're doing good reading. And that's the end of that book. So we are using the words I and am repetitively so that Nadia will learn those words. Those are her I sight am. words for the week. So hopefully by the end of the week, she will have those two words on site, down packed. And it, it's just an awesome curriculum, guys, for the little ones. All right, her journal writing, because she cannot really write on her own yet, uh, I'm just having her write the um, sight words for the day. So the sight words were I am. And you can see where her M kind of turns into a W. She put a little bit too many lines there. But, you know, it's beginning. We're five. And it's going to get there. So don't be discouraged. We went through this with Gabby. We started out with work that, that looks like this. And at the end, she had it whipped. Okay, so we're expecting a similar outcome with Nadia. We know that she is a super smart cookie and she's going to pick up very quickly. So that is basically it. Only like two or three little assignments in the pretest for today. And that's all she had to do. They are in a different order. 
Do you think I still have three flowers? Do you think she still has I three? I better count again. Yes. One. Count them with her. Two. Three. That's good. There are still three flowers. I do. Now I can take these three flowers to Gator. All. How many squares are there in all? Count them all. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's five in all. But if we take away one of them, you see how they put an X there? How many do you have left? We, we, okay. We have one, two, three, four. Excellent job. Five minus one is four. Okay, and there's the last answer right there. Five minus one is four. And we see right here, you click right there because it's five minus one. Go down to this one. Yeah, you click it. Very good. Yeah. Very good.